First up, a day after voting concluded in South Africa's crucial elections, counting is still underway. It is also predicted that the voter turnout could surpass the 66% mark, a record that was set in the 2019 polls. Final results of the elections are expected by Sunday. The Electoral Commission has announced the results in small tranches. Initial results show the ruling African National Congress losing majority, as many experts have been predicting in the last few months. Months. Early trends also reveal that the ANC might secure less than 50% of the electoral mandate. While a substantial number of voters are yet to be counted, analysts speculate that the ANC might be forced to make a deal with one or more parties to govern. Many fear that a coalition situation could lead to unprecedented political volatility in the coming weeks or months. Now, on the ground, South Africans have mixed reactions to the polling process, the overall election outcome, issues that have piled on over the years, and the hope that many voters have for the Rainbow Nation. Take a look. Other people couldn't even vote. You're in South Africa, but you can't even vote. So what? The IEC did to us yesterday was not good. One day they must explain to us why they couldn't give us national and provincial ballots while I'm in my province and country. We can't react. Ish, I voted well. Ish, I voted well. Uh, I voted for different party. Hopefully it's going to change. Uh, the people in power hopefully are going to come down and we're going to have a new political party. Now, many in the country share concerns over rising unemployment that is at its highest right now. Other issues include rampant crime, corruption scandals and regular power cuts and water shortages. In 2023, the economy grew a meager 0.6%. And for more on this, we're now being joined by our correspondent, Calden Ongmu from Johannesburg. In Calden, the final results are trickling in. The ANC's loss of majority is expected. Who will, who will it volunteer to form a coalition with? That's the question. And how will the uh, voters accept that or not? Very, as I speak to you right now, I'm at the result operating center of the uh, of the country's IEC. You, if you see the boards behind me, the huge screens behind me, they, the numbers are trickling in that from all the voting districts. There's a provincial uh, vote uh, counting that's happening, and there's also national. In the center where you see, there's a national numbers coming in. Over there, you can see at least uh, from the latest update, there about 20 percent of the votes that have been counted. Many experts seated here at the ROC, you can see political parties, uh, they are here. The IEC officials here just right behind me, crunching down all the numbers, doing their maths here. So obviously all the experts saying that ANC, they're uh, they looking at the margins of 41 to 43 percent. But however, some say that there's still more to go. There's just 20 percent of voting that has been counted. So let's see uh, further on. But however... Uh, you know, we can say at this point of time, uh, you know, the big question is, have the political parties started talking to one another? Will South Africa have for the very first time a national coalition government? You know, ANC has never said they're not going to work with any parties in the past. DA and ANC have, has had a talk before. Um, EFF, for that matter, they have kept mum right now. DA has also signed a multi-party charter even before elections, stating that they were, they were adamant to kick ANC out of power and form their own government. But from the numbers that we are seeing right now, in the national ballot, if you look at it, where the uh, ANC is actually leading with almost a one million mark. Right now, there's nine hundred over a little over 949,000. Then second is the Democratic Alliance at just a little above 542,000 uh, uh, votes that have come in. Uh, uh, then third is the EFF and MK. As expected, uh, it's, uh, uh, this election, they're going to be the kingmaker. In fact, if you look at the KwaZulu-Natal province, which is one of the largest provinces in the country, and their vote actually matters a lot to the ANC, they've let, left the ANC right behind. It's, uh, some of them are even calling it a bloodbath. KZ, KZN, MK is going to take, that's for sure. In fact, some of the MK members that are here, they're even celebrating. They're saying we, now it's time to sit and talk on 
who President Jacob Zuma will, uh, you know, uh, name for the premier of the province. So you remember, Constitutional Court uh, actually had ordered, even before the election, that Jacob Zuma cannot himself run uh, as a, 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 to the National Assembly or to the parliament because of his criminal convictions, but he still remains the leader of the MK. So KwaZulu-Natal MK has done very well. At this given point of time, ANC don't have good numbers in Western Cape province, which is the DA hold uh, province as well as KwaZulu-Natal. So currently, it's still very early for political parties to start talking, but you never know. Uh, and in fact, if I may add, some of the experts that I've been talking to here say that, you know, business South Africa, the corporate South Africa may force ANC and DA, DA Democratic Alliance to go into a grand coalition. Will that happen? Well, you never know when uh, when uh, their seats, you know, if suppose ANC takes the president, DA gets the deputy president. I don't think uh, there will be any you know, set back to the political parties, but that's definitely what we've been hearing on the ground here at the ROC, saying that ANC and DA might talk about grand coalition. But uh, 4 p.m. here uh, uh, in uh, South Africa, there will be a press briefing by the IEC. They are going to be updating us on the latest numbers as well. Barabi. Right, Calden. Thanks so much indeed for joining us uh, with the very latest there. Certainly the most consequential elections in South Africa's 30 years since it became a democracy. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.